Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Demon Slayer Season 2, The Entertainment District Arc, Episode Number 1. Okay, it's finally here. Um, we are going to go right into Season 2 after the movie and like, you know, the anime, the Mugen Resha and that it ended. And um, yeah, like everything, like it was been a while I've seen the movie. So there are were a few things that I forgot about. Uh, thankfully, the anime re reminded me of each and everything. I'm all caught up to everything. And yeah, I'm ready for the season two. And this is pretty fantastic. Like, you know, like the trailer in itself was so cool. And I'm, I'm just waiting for how this is going to go. And uh, I'm guessing we are in this season, we're going to be more acquainted with the um the other guy the other hashira uh the one i don't remember his name but the muscular one you know the one with the big sword or something um that guy so i'm, I'm thinking he's probably going to be like you know we're going to probably get more acquainted with him just like we got more acquainted to um rengoku and uh yeah things are going to go like that so i'm looking forward to that looking forward to meet more of the hashiras and probably more demons as well <laughs> so yeah uh, let's see let's see how this goes so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number one of demon slayer season two so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> whoa what's happening Oh, this is, uh, I guess, a little recap. My God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Why must you show this again to us? Like we've suffered enough. Mm. Wow, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh boy, here we go. I wonder what they'll do going they're going to do now. Like the train yeah, here here we go, this is the train. Oh probably Tanji will go to uh uh Rengoku's home to read about the Hinokami Kagura. <sighs> okay. Oh, this is Rengoku's house. 
Oh my god, I think the crow came with the news. Oh my god, the brother. Oh. Oh. Now that I think about it, I don't even know this guy's name. Did they mention it? Is this the opening? Oh, is this the opening? Is this the opening? Or no, maybe not. I'm really waiting for the opening. This is Aymar we are talking about. Wait, what is that? Is that a hair ornament? No, I don't think this is the opening. What is Ibawado Bookstore? Who is this person? New character or something? What? <laughs> what are these scenes that they're showing in black and white? Okay. Entertainment District Dark. Sound Hashira. Tengen Uzui. Oh, is, I think that's his name. Sound Hashira. Interesting. Oh, so adopted. Um, okay. Skin disease. He's a demon. Okay. Never mind. He's reading about plants. Okay. Oh my god. What? Wait, is this Muzan? Oh my. Oh, great. Blue spider lily, unable to locate them.
Hmm. He'll be like, what about the guy with the... Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, my God. Wow, this guy is full of himself. Oh my god. Why don't you do it yourself then? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh yeah, he'll be like, why didn't you kill them? Yep. Um. Oh, talking about Tanjiro. Ah, well, wait, what happened to the, didn't he break the, oh yeah, this is his, What is what is taking his anger out on the sword? Yeah, whatever. What the hell destroyed a, a good sword? <laughs> No, oh, it's that girl. I forgot her name. The one with the uh, lips. Which... Wait, what is Zenitsu doing here? Are, are they back over here? Oh my god, Zenitsu? That won't work. <laughs> or probably it will. Never mind. Oh, so here, they're here for um, medical attention. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Some, oh yeah, he he's good with his ears. I forgot about that for a for a moment. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Oh. Oh, Inuska is also not here. Wait, where is he? What?
Oh. Oh, he's going to Rango's house. Okay. He's like, you know, like, stomach still hurting. That's why while running his ha handing, like, you know, his hand is all on top of his stomach. Yeah, oh my god. Oh. Oh, there you go. It looks completely like him, um, Rengoku. I didn't notice that before. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's the dad. What the? What? Oh my god. Okay, come on. Now you're going too far. Like, I understand that he, like, you know, after his wife's passing. Yeah, it's just going too far now. Wait, whoa, what's happening? He saw the earring. Oh, he knows. Sun breathing. He didn't say, he said he no cook, it's like fire breathing. Why did, why did they translate it by sun breathing? What? Oh my god! Come on, dude! Calm down! What the hell is wrong with him? Oh my... What is wrong with you, dude? What? Book. Yeah. First breathing technique. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, really? My god, that's a big revelation. So, okay. wait. So his technique is a little different from fire breathing. It is called sun breathing technique that means. Okay, enough is enough dude, calm down. This guy is going too far now. Oh, he's former Hashira.
Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh my god. Oh yeah, his head. Obviously, it's stronger than anything. Yeah, he's got a concussion now. <laughs> well, he deserved it. Obviously, he's going a little bit too far, I think. <laughs> like I had a feel, like I have, I have a thought, like maybe in the final battle he'll headbutt Muzan to death or something. <laughs> That'll be funny. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Obviously he wasn't able to, like you know, say anything. This guy is completely gone. <sighs> hmm. <sighs> oh, there we go. Twenty first flame Hashira. Okay, what? What? Oh no! But he tore everything up! Oh my god! Oh great! I think he's dead probably. Yeah. Why? Oh my god, this guy. Great. The only lead we had is gone now. Because of this guy's inferiority complex. Oh my god. Yeah, he can he can figure it out himself. It'll take time. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
to google i, I feel like i heard that somewhere where oh um i think uh, like a student or something uh, yeah yeah oh so he's not he can become a demon slayer oh that's why Oh. God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that'll help, you know. As he said, he'll he'll try to find other ways to help everyone. Oh. What? Oh. God, why? Oh my god, this guy, I really don't like him. Like, what type of petty attitude is this? Like, even after his death? Well, at least he understood by the end. God. Whoa, what's happening? Oh no. Oh my God, something's happening. Oh my god, I feel like something's going to happen. Oh! Whoa! Oh, this is... Uh, uh, I, for a moment, I, I was scared. I was like some demon is here. <laughs> oh yeah, his sword is gone. Okay. Wow, they're still continuing. <laughs> Climbing up the tree. Oh well, that won't work. 
Ne? <gülüyor> okay. Good training. <gülüyor> Wait. Is it still chasing him? Oh no. Okay, there you go. Hmm. <laughs> okay, her name is Aoi, I forgot that. Tumi kiho na ho. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's good. <laughs> okay, so he loves dumplings. That's a good thing to know. <laughs> ah, training. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred more. Four months. Oh my god. So long time. Wow, look at them. <laughs> they are wow. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, go, go, no, stop. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Wow, like, they're getting some. Serious muscles, I can see that, you Not Northwest. Mountain Shrine Demon. Hmm. Okay, these are like solo missions, I'm guessing. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> okay. Oh. Let's go time to come out. Ooh, whoa. What the? Okay, there you go. Haha! <laughs> Caught it by surprise. Oh my god. Whoa, what type of a demon is this? The demon must be very confused. He's like, why is a demon attacking me? Yeah, it's running away. Oh my god. Oh, wait, is he hiding here? Yeah. Oh my, ugh. Oh. oh, he's here. Oh! 
my god well that's it Oof. wait what oh okay they're like what's happening well no need to know <laughs> no ignorance is bliss as they say yes all right everything is kind of normal now i guess but what um what's happening wait what's happening um Wait, what? No, no. Yeah, like, yeah, Tanjiro said that. No need for the coin anymore. Wait, why are they taking, why is he taking them? What's happening? What? What are? Ah! 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 His voice actor. Um, I need to check it out. I know that him. Um, he's <laughs> kidnapping them. I think it's something else he's trying to do. What's he trying to do? <laughs> oh, headbutt! Special attack! Well, he's gone. Oh no! <laughs> well, attack failed. Wait, oh! Shinobi, Uzui Tengen. <laughs> um. I think something else is happening. Like. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Like, why are you taking her? Like, she's not a... Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. His voice, I... I can't put my finger on it. No, wait. You're a male. He needed female. Oh! I think it's something related to the entertainment district. Otherwise, why would he need females? 
Ooh, nice. <laughs> well, Inosuke can. I think Inosuke can do it, can't he? He can cross dress. <laughs> Go to sleep, Zenitsu. You'll work well. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Gilgamesh is voice. I think it is Gilgamesh, isn't it? No. Oh my god, I can't point my finger on who's who his voice actor is. No, he's not Gilgamesh's voice actor. Ugh. This is really bothering me. I'll have to check it out. There you go, the entertainment district. Wow. Oh my god, here we go. We are starting. Oh. Is this the opening? Is this the opening? I think. Oh my god, if. Yeah, yes! It's Aymar, yeah, here we go. Oh my god, I've been waiting for this opening for so long. Okay, let's... Yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, they are going to cross-dress. <laughs> they are going to cross-dress. Oh! Whoa! He's back! Yes! <laughs> oh my god, this opening! Wow! Okay. Is that the end? Okay, um, I think there's still something left. All right, just let's wait for it uh, until it ends. Okay, um, <coughs> So yeah, that was the opening. Oh my god, the open. Okay, I'll talk about it. Um, whoa, what's happening? Whoa! Oh my god, it is. It looks so beautiful. Like this whole. You know, the different designs, like... Oh my god, this is so great. And since UFO Table is like, you know, you're doing the visuals and animating this, it looks fantastic. <clears throat> Even better than I expected. <laughs> okay, um... Wow! My god, this this is so cool.
Oh my god. Wow. Okay, I think now that now this is the end. Oh wait, what? Something left. Ninning. What? Oh shit, he's a ninja, isn't he? Yeah. That's why. <laughs> Celebrating the opening of the entertainment. Oh my god, his voice! Where have I heard it? <laughs> Compito! <laughs> That's... Okay. <laughs> you know, Skate will be so happy for this. Okay. Tanjiro. Ha. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. Yes, you introduced yourself before. Oh, that's why he's always so flashy, flashy. He's talking about flashy. <laughs> okay. Strong sense of responsibility. <laughs> Infiltrating the entertainment district. Yes. All right. To be continued. All right. That's the end. Oh boy. Um. So. Okay. Um. Oh, this was a lot long. I was thinking, like, why is this going for so long? <laughs> so this is like a 45 minutes episode. Oh, yeah, they said something about the first episode being a longer one. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Okay, um, okay, few things I need to check out. Uh, Tengen, I think that was his name. Uh, wh what's his voice actor? I I can't put my finger on it. I've heard him like so much that way he talks. Just a sec. Let me just check who his voice actor is. Um, Tengen. Here we go. Uh, Japanese VA Katsuyuki Konishi. Okay. Uh, just a sec. Katsuyuki Konishi. Okay, um, my god, my internet is slow today. Okay, uh, voice actor, uh, Laxus from, uh, Fatal, or... Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tank Top Master from One Punch Man. Diavolo. That's where I've heard it, his voice from. I was like, where have I heard his voice from? Very recently. I've also heard his voice very recently. And um, yeah, it's Diablo. Uh, I've, I've recently completed uh, Jojo's part five, so I remember quite vividly. Yeah, it's Diablo. I can, I can, I can hear him now completely. Yep. Okay, is there anyone else who he did? Um... Oh, um, uh, Balam Sensei from uh, uh, Irumakun. Yeah, yeah. Okay. These are the okay. yeah i think that's it yeah okay now i i realize where i've heard his voice from um okay so yeah that's uh okay that's the end of it now um the opening i've been waiting for the opening for so long and it it's fantastic i love it the visuals and the song obviously it's sung by aymar um if you guys don't know uh aymar is like the top artist in my list like i like you know for me i feel like aymar is the best you know singer uh 
like according to my preferences and i just love her songs so much so i've been waiting for this song for quite a long while and yeah it's finally here and i'm going to probably listen to this song every day from now on <laughs> so okay um now the first episode um there were quite a few things we got to see here number one um muzan has taken a little kid's form now like i i really wasn't expecting that suddenly happening uh and yeah uh, Akaza, he is pretty pissed off, obviously, because, you know, uh, Tanjiro mm, said stuff like that to him, and he, he doesn't like that. Um, like, as they say, like, you know, truth hurts. So, yeah, everything that Tanjiro says was, was pretty truthful, and pretty, like, it hit the mark, I guess. So, that's why, yeah, it, it probably hurt his ego and everything. And they were saying something about the blue spider lily. I'm not sure what that is about. Probably we're getting we're going to get more elaboration in the future, um, and uh, yeah. Okay. Um, <coughs> that's that. Uh, then we get to the next scene of uh, you know like uh, seeing Tanjiro and all like you know Tanjiro's crew that is uh, Zenitsu and you know like them in the uh, butterfly mansion again and they are rehabilitating know kind of healing up and we see tanjiro go to uh rengoku's house now here's where the thing actually starts um there are a few information that we got here number one the sun breathing technique uh now i you know i think at the, for a moment that i thought that there was a translation error or something because he was saying Hino Kokyu, which I felt like it meant like fire breathing technique, but then they actually mentioned fire breathing technique in a separate way as well. Like he said something about uh, sun breathing technique um, being different uh, or being the like you know origin for all the other techniques like fire, water, and all the others. So I'm guessing fire breathing technique and this technique that uh, Tanjiro uses are a bit different. Like uh, that means uh, Rengoku's uh, technique, the fire breathing technique that he uses, and Tanjiro's technique, Hino Kamikagura, that's a lot different from each other. Even though both of them uses fire technique, like that's something I I I, I was not like you know I, I did not know actually. And this episode kind of clears that up. He says something about being like you know you know. Uh, uh, the sun breathing technique being something that is the origin of all the breathing techniques and it does make sense it's called sun breathing technique because i think like you know the earring has like a little sun logo on it so i think that's why it's called sun breathing technique and uh, <clears throat> yeah and um like it's interesting now that i think about it uh the technique that tanjiro uses hinokami kagura it means he means i think heat or fire uh he no kami kami is god Kagura, um, like so, it's called the god of heat or the god of fire breathing, something like that. It's called his technique is called something like that. So it does mean it is more superior to the normal fire breathing technique that uh, you know, like everyone uses. So it's something special, completely. It's and according to um, Rengoku's dad, it is the origin of everything, and that's why he was like, "Oh, you've come to make fun of us or something." Like he was like going off on his own and now here's the thing i really don't like the dad uh, even though in the end we kind of get to see how he breaks down you know but i i really don't like him i don't know why mm, like i understand he probably went through a lot on his like, th throughout his life and uh you know like he lost his wife and then like, you know he became depressed and everything and then this happens and uh rengoku's dead as well all these things um i understand that i also understand that that's probably the reason why he's acting like this now he like you know day after day and during this probably broke something inside him and he's like this so i understand all of that but the thing here is we we are ba barely getting acquainted with him you know and the only thing that we know from his past is the little flashbacks we've seen from Rengoku narrating so obviously we don't have much like you know, we're not much acquainted with this guy and like you know we the the amount of 
time we've probably spent with this guy is not much and it probably won't be much in the future as well because i think this is like this will probably be the end of the screen time that he gets and there probably won't be any more screen time he will get so this will probably be the end that we see of him probably later on we'll we're going to get, get glimpses of him not that much but it will probably be something like that that's why i'm saying that like you know like we we're not that much emotionally connected with him and that's why everything that he has probably faced in his past doesn't actually strike hard the thing that actually strikes hard is the way he's misbehaving you know and like you know in the, in the first introduction that we get of him the way he's misbehaving the way he's acting towards um um uh, the younger brother what what was his name i forgot um the younger brother and about after rengoku's death the way he's acting you know all that stuff the way he's being petty about the whole situation of like oh you're here to make fun of us uh, you know all that stuff all these things these are the things that we're actually getting introduced to so if this guy had like you know um four or five episodes dedicated to him if we went got to know him as much as we got to know rengoku probably i would have felt sympathy for him but unfortunately that's not the case like you know screen time is a big thing in anime and like you know the more we get a screen time of a certain character the more we are empathetic towards him or her and the more we feel for that person unfortunately this guy has no screen time and his introduction is like this you know like this type of a petty human being who has like you know fallen from uh, like you know like grace like he he's like drinking now and doing nothing beating up his kid um uh, you know like misbehaving acting petty um uh, bad mouthing uh, rengoku even after his death this is what we are getting introduced to so obviously i feel like liking him is probably something that i won't be able to do unless and until we get more of this guy like theoretically i understand this guy is probably very broken heartbroken like he's gone through a lot theoretically but unfortunately you know like <clears throat> since we don't have much character development for this guy i probably won't feel much sorrow for him and i do feel bad for him but you know the emotion won't get triggered in me because yeah that's basically the reason why like like we get you know introduced to Rengoku and he makes such a big presence in these the seven episodes that we saw and he was able to establish himself as such a great character so suddenly seeing his dad popping up bad mouthing him after his death after his death even though we realize that yeah it's probably because he's heartbroken he's doing stuff like this you know he's trying to vent his frustrations even though we know that i i don't actually feel like you know sad for him or anything or empathetic towards him especially because you know like the character that we have adored for the, the past seven episodes rengoku is bad mouthing that person even after his death and yeah all that stuff so I, i'm like i'm not sure if i was able to you know like explain it properly but that's the reason why even though in the end we see him breaking down i am not much empathetic towards him because his introduction the way he inter like you know the anime introduced us to him was in a very negative manner and we see all the negative qualities that this person has and that's just it without any back story like if he gets some person's negative quality but has that person has like you know like two or three episodes worth of back stories sad back stories we'll probably be able to empathize with that person and feel sad for that person unfortunately this person doesn't have that you know we barely, we we only saw him in his negative like you know uh display the way he displayed his negative emotions that's all we saw and yeah as they say first impressions are a very big deal and <laughs> this guy's first impression was very bad but yeah i like as i said i do understand the way he's feeling i do feel sorry for him bad for him but i i probably won't be able to sympathize with him but anyways that's just probably just me i guess I'm not sure if someone else, like you know if you guys also feel like that or if you have some other ways like you know you feel sorry for this person this guy guy but uh, this is just me but yeah um like you know he 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 goes too far you know with everything that he does I don't know what is like you know actually wrong with him because it feels like he probably uh has like some kind of an inferiority complex for like you know you know uh, the people who have the sun breathing technique or something 
like as i said we don't know anything about this person no backstory nothing so maybe he got some bad memories in his past with people who had the sun breathing technique probably probably that or something like that is the reason why he's so petty about it and yeah like the thing he and he even like you know tore off the pages of the book so that's another thing which is probably coming up from his pettiness and uh, yeah and as tanjiro said that that won't stop him he'll keep trying to do the thing that he does the best let's keep training and everything keep trying to be better and and um as, uh rengoku's brother did say that i'll try my best to actually uh, recreate all of that you know all the books and everything the tone pages and i'll send it to you so that's a good thing and <clears throat> yeah now the, the biggest information as i said that we got to know here is that tanjiro's uh, technique the, the technique that his father practiced is probably the strongest out of all of them so if he's able to actually master that he'll be the strongest demon slayer i guess so yeah that's something okay that was that and then as i said like in the end we see do we do see his bro uh, his father breaking down but yeah his first impression was pretty bad i do feel bad for him like you know he he lost his only son like you know the little flashback that we got got that uh, all the time like, you know whenever um Rengoku goes out he says that uh like, you know take care father or something like that he said yeah i'll see you later or something and that kind of flashes in front of his eyes he tries to drink but he's unable to and he breaks down that's sad but still you know yeah anyways um that was that okay and then the next part comes of uh, oh my god here uh, <laughs> When Tanji is like, oh, I'm feeling, you know, feverish and everything. I don't know why he was feeling something like that. I don't know. Um, I don't even know if that has some other special significance or something. Because like, I think like they kind of, you know, like went past that. Like he was feeling feverish and everything. And then suddenly like in comes uh, Haganezuka. And for a moment I thought, wait a minute, is that like a demon or something? Are we going to get in trouble here? Because Nezuko won't be able to come out because it was still, uh, you know, the daytime. So I was like, damn, like, Tanjiro is feeling feverish. He's like, you know, almost going to pass out. Nezuko won't be able to come out. How will, we, how will he be able to fight this demon that we are seeing? And then I realized that, nah, that's no demon. That's Haganezuka. I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> never mind. And <laughs> yeah, and then like, you know, like, obviously he's pissed off because, you know, like he lost his sword. Uh, he'll probably make a second a, a, a new one but yeah now that was that and we get a little bit of a training montage you know for four months i think they were training and like yeah they like you know like tanjiro not only tanjiro like Zenitsu and all of them they became pretty uh, muscular <laughs> you know they became pretty uh, like, you know buffed up and uh, yeah now this is one thing that i really love when anime does you know like the characters actually change with the passage passage of time you know uh with their physical features and everything i really love this when anime does it. i'm not sure if demon slayer will do that but i'll be really happy if they actually show us them growing up you know like now he's like a teenager maybe in a few you know years uh, we'll see him actually like you know like as an adult or something that'll be really cool i really love when anime does that you know these type of like um transformations that they go through but yeah anyways um uh, then we get to see him you know like fighting another demon like probably take, taking a contract and you know that spider type of demon that we saw and we see him easily defeating it obviously he's been training for so long and we come back to see tengen i think that was his name yeah uh, he called himself a shinobi a ninja um from the ninja clan which i'm, I'm not sure I'm sure we'll get, we'll get to get more uh, explanation of that, but yeah, he is here. He is taking two of the females because he uh, was told to do so because he needs them for the entertainment district um, uh, for a mission. Now, obviously, like Aoi is, she, she I think she doesn't fight. She's basically, I, I guess, she's like a, a more support type of a character. That's why you know, like. Tanjiro is like, like, 
you know like like don't take her like he she's not accustomed to all of this like take us instead and we do do see um what was that girl's name um uh i'm i'm talking about that girl uh the girl who tanjiro you know like the, that girl what was her name there's so many names i actually like you know mix them up um oh my god i can't remember her name at all uh, the girl who who was like you know tossing the coin i'm talking about her uh wait a minute let me just check what was her name Kanao, I think Kanao was her name. Yeah, Kanao Suyuri. Let me double check. Uh, yeah, it's Kanao. That's her name. Okay, Kanao. So yeah, Kanao. Like you know, this is the first time we see Kanao actually taking a decision herself because he she realized, like you know, remembered what Tanjiro told him. Like take a decision for yourself, follow your heart, and you know he, he tries to stop them. <laughs> And I, I feel like, um, like Tengen, Tengen, that's her name, his name? Yeah, Tengen, yeah, Tengen Uzui. Tengen, uh, he, he seems to be a pretty fun character, I have to say, like from the little, um, you know, um, introduction we got in this episode, he seems like a goofy type of a person with, <laughs> with a bit of a sense of humor, the way he acts and everything. <laughs> and uh, like he like you know like in the end little ending section we kind of see why he's like you know so flashy he says something about since i'm a ninja you know uh, i had to always be in the shadows and everything i did not want that that's why i'm trying to be flashy now and yeah he does look uh, quite flashy you know with the little ornaments that he has the statue uh different colors fingernails um you know like his the the the, the dress that he's wearing yeah, he is quite flashy. <laughs> yeah, and unlike a ninja, he's very, you know, over the top. So as as probably because as he said, like, you know, like I had always to had to keep in shadows. But now I won't do that. That and as I said, he, he seems like a fun character, you know. I'll probably have a great time with you know, we'll probably have a great great time with this guy and uh, yeah he is here to take all of them to the entertainment district now from the opening i could probably see what's going to happen they're obviously going to cross dress uh zen uh, uh, inosuke that's obviously going to happen we also saw zensu like you know with little things in his uh, in her head in his head <laughs> he's also probably going to cross dress or something i'm looking forward to that <laughs> oh my god that'll be fun and yeah, we are going to have our next, you know, big battle in the entertainment district. So I'm looking forward to that. And as I said, I'll probably really like Tengen. You know, like he, he seems like a really chill and fun guy. <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, that was it. That was my um, reaction to Demon Slayer, the Entertainment District Art, which is season two, episode number one. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. And I'll definitely check them out. Uh, how you're liking the, the, like, you know, the beginning, I'm loving it. This is so, uh, like, uh, like, you know, amazing. Like the fact that we're going to the Entertainment District and we're going to hang out with this guy, Tengen, is something that I'm really looking forward to and you know like i i feel like this will be a great arc and i'm really looking forward to it so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of demon slayer uh, season two until then goodbye and have a nice day